Hello, 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 all you wonderful, beautiful people. And today we are going to be at Trader Baker's. I know, I thought about going to River West Antique Mall, but I was here last time I came back. And if my goal is to shop smarter, a flea market might have better prices than River West. And of all the pinches I'm under, today the added pinch is I'm under a time pinch. So let's head in. Oh, well, before we head in, welcome to the channel. This is Gangalized Treasures. If you haven't ever been here before, uh, my family and I, usually my daughter and I, but she's not here today, um, are on thrifting adventures. Uh, usually looking for the vintage. I love everything that is uh, all the natural stuff, rocks, um, glass, and not brass so much, but you know, I like wrought iron. Uh, love me a good cast iron skillet. Um, not to decorate with, but to cook with. And, um, and at this point, with what people are buying, changing, I know I have to change what I'm putting in my store. So today, I'm going to kind of be open to everything. And it's going to be like the video I put up Wednesday. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, it's Goodwill, Shopping Smarter. I'm going to have to look everything up just like I did at Goodwill. Look everything up before I leave the store. So let's go in, see if we can find some treasure. Right in the door, I see these beautiful royal ruby um, vases. Beautiful vintage. Love the red color. Oh, squirrel, look at that. But the vases are, there's not enough margin in there. This is hand blown, as you can tell by the Ponto scar on the bottom. There are seven listed and none sold. So that's going to stay back on the shelf. And I'm going to look at some more glass. And, well, let's try something new. Let's look at tools. Screwdrivers and pliers and wrenches and, oh, look, there's batteries. Um, batteries were not a good seller. Thought about socks. And thought, well, I'll take a look at the whole table, and then I'll decide what I'm going to look up. Because if I remember correctly, the last time I was here, in some spots of the store, I could get internet connection. And in some of them, I could not. So I'm going to go all the way down to the end. Ooh, jewelry. Pretties. Um, I didn't look very hard at these. And maybe I should have. Let me know in the comments, because I was still thinking about the stuff on the other table. So I wanted to get on this side, because I thought, well, batteries is something people use. If I need to be buying things that people use more, would be lotions and soaps and detergents, and that's what's over here. And I looked up the dial, I looked up the suave, I looked up the whatever the green stuff is. I did not look up this, um, but most of them sold in lots and of six or more, and for the price they were asking, there either wasn't enough sell-through rate or there wasn't enough margin. More jewelry, I'm just going to pass by the jewelry. I have a mystery jewelry box unboxing coming up next week. Ooh, well... Let's look at Little Debbie. Gotta look at all the new stuff. But when you look at food, you always gotta check the date. 2022. It's outdated. You can't sell it. You can buy it, but you can't sell it. 2022. Now these might be things that they don't have anymore. That would be very desirable for some people who like them. Again, 2022. It's outdated. You can't sell it. Um, I'm sure it has enough preservatives in it that it's probably still good. Oh, look at that. Should I get that for the whatnot? It'd be something different to give away. Usually we give away jewelry. And 
this looked like it was vintage. The name was actually worn off of a little bar down there, and I thought, well, I'll look inside just to make sure. This was inspired by the carpet baggers. And it is made by Apri, which I've never heard of. And it also says it's made in China. So, on we go. Fishing poles. I did not look up any of the fishing poles. And a microwave. I think that was a basketball goal. Maybe. Um, but this Eddie Bauer uh, baby diaper bag really caught my eye. And I looked it up and it stayed on the shelves. And then I looked at these flannels. Um, not for me, but I know someone who upcycles flannels. And I was thinking of her, and I do need to message her and let her know that I found these and if she wanted them. I don't know how much she'd pay for them. So, on to the next booth. And this is Blue Onion. I couldn't find any of the square plates. The oval ones, there were two listed, or three listed, and none sold. But some of the bigger casserole dishes have sold. That's one thing about when you're looking up something, sometimes you can learn about the other things that are for sale. And Depends was not one I wanted to look up or learn about or sell. Oh, look at these lamps. These are old. This might actually be really, really old, but it's not super pretty. I mean, it's pretty. These are prettier, and they're more money, but they don't match. If I was going to get two, I would probably want two that were going to match. Because I probably want to put them in the same room. And on we go. On to the next booth. And that one, I just was feeling that that was not a booth I wanted to go in. That one had pots and pans. I know there are some of them that sell well. But the ones that I saw just looked like they were plain old thin stainless steel. This is toward the back of the store, where I know I don't get reception to look anything up. But this was one of the, the back of the store where things used to be, the cold stuff used to be kept. But this picture I thought was beautiful with the blue handle. It's um, could be modern, could be vintage. There wasn't a date on it, no maker's mark, no signature. So there wasn't even a way for me to look it up. And this uh, booth had lots of candles. And one of them, yeah, this one. I forget, Tahitian tea or something. I actually smelled it. It was kind of nice, but they were $5. Um, if I got any of those, they would probably be for Amanda. One of those things that I couldn't look up because I was in the back of the store, but I probably should have looked up after I got home. The flea market is not uh, very far away. And this booth just has a little bit of everything. And at this point, I think this was really, really old. But it was just in bad shape. It was starting to tear right there. At this point, I think, is when I started to get a headache. And then I, I just don't, I don't think as well when I have a headache. There were lots of things, and maybe it's also part of the feeling the, the time um, pinch because I know I don't have long to look stuff up. There was cornhole bags and more purses. And by this point, oh, and then I found this. This is a Budweiser thermometer, but there is one listed and none sold. Pretty floor, but I'd turn around. Um, another case that had, I really liked that uh, bracelet, but I knew I didn't have time to go to the front to get the lady to get the key because there were people in line and she was the only one there to have her come unlock it. This jewelry was all a dollar a piece. 
And I'm standing here looking at it and going, why am I looking at this jewelry when I have two boxes of jewelry coming? Because I will have, uh, have a mystery jewelry box unboxing next week. Those two don't even match. Those two earrings don't even match. I'm like, why am I looking at jewelry? And this one has lots of soaps and lots of lotions. I literally could have spent an hour looking up all those things, which is part of the learning and part of the finding things that sell. I could go back to Trader Baker's. Wasn't that just beautiful? That's one of the things that I would have picked up before. And this was very interesting. I don't think it, it's not leather, but it's just different. Different can be good. But they wanted, like, to, like, get a picture of the tag. Nope. I think they wanted 9 or $12 for it. I thought, oh, I'm here, I'll look at the purses. And then there wasn't anything that thrilled me. Not even the Christmas throw. Clothes. a pretty sweater but not the right size and not designer so it stayed on the shelf I feel like I'm beginning to repeat myself just it stayed on the shelf this was really cool this is how to make your own iced coffee but there was no price on it and I did scan the barcode and there are none listed on eBay uh, it would be cool for me but it's cold this time of year and I'm not into iced coffee That booth had a really pretty, um, oh, actually, I came in to look at the refrigerator. They wanted, like, 75 or $80 for the refrigerator, which I kind of thought of. We depends on what kind of refrigerator we get in the new house. We definitely need a drink refrigerator. Here's a little ducky. Little Tweety Bird, but it's empty. I might have looked it up if it had the shampoo still in it. I would have thought that would have made it more desirable. And this shop, or this shop, this booth, doesn't have uh, very much. And since I already looked up a couple tools and the batteries and have a headache, I didn't look any of those up. More socks and hats. Some of these down here on the bottom look like they were really warm socks. And just lots of different stuff. I know, and anyway, I didn't even see those green glasses. A cute little bear. This is a whole set, bathroom set. And then when I realized what it was, I wasn't interested at all. A purse. I think that booth was having a sale, but they just had the purse and a few other things, and none of them were anything that I was even interested in looking up. Lots of books, DVDs. Do any of you buy or sell DVDs? Let me know in the comments. Buy or sell. Buy and sell DVDs. It's kind of like records. Records are coming back in. Record players are coming back in. I thought those uh, votives were really cute. But I don't need any votives. And these were Baglinis, and I looked them up, and neither one of those styles were listed. More pots and pans next to Winnie the Pooh and copper molds for jellos, shoes and clothes. I did not do the intro in the store or in the car, so I'm going to have to do it here at the house. That was a very disappointing trip, but I only had an hour. I didn't see all the aisles. I didn't have 
uh, Wi-Fi to look up things in all parts of the store. And I didn't see everything. So I could go back and spend more time there and look up things. And I would hope that we would be able to find something um, that we could actually, there was, that it would have a good sell-through rate and at least be enough money to cover the costs of listing on eBay and make me a little money. Um, but that didn't happen with any of the items that I looked at. If I missed something, let me know. Um, or if there's something that I should have picked up because you know it's going to be a trend soon, let me know. Um, again, I do have the jewelry mystery box unboxing next week. It is up on Wednesday. The box just came today. I have not opened it yet. Hopefully that will be a much better video than this one. But, um, you know, you don't always go every single time and find something. Um, it's about time for me to find a home run, I think. But until then... I apologize that this was a short video, but remember, you're blessed to be a blessing.